good morning guys welcome to Sunday look at that baby <laughs> I just love watching the dogs run especially baby dogs Sam and I were talking all morning about how special she is like and how she came into our life and we weren't even like we had no thoughts of getting a dog let alone a puppy and then poof she's just here in our life Sam is loving it. Tell them what happened this morning. The power struggle. Oh, the power struggle. I went to the horse barn. Laura went to the goat barn. With Ellie. With Ellie. Who is uh, the puppy's best friend. And the puppy ran to the gate where the with, goat barn was. To come with Ellie and Laura. Yeah. And it was sitting there deciding because I was calling her, telling her to come. And she was sitting in there deciding, and she finally decided the right answer. Yeah, so she was sitting there with me and Ellie, and Sam was like, come on, you're coming with me, I'm your owner. And she really wanted to be with Ellie, like really, really wanted to be with Ellie. And she looked at Sam, Sam said, come on. And she turned around and she ran as fast as she could, and she went with Sam. Didn't even try and find us after that. Like she could have left the barn, she could have tried to find us. But nope, she stayed with Sam, like a good little girl. Hey, where's that deaf dog going? Sam and I are gonna go for a walk through the field today. <laughs> I swear, Daisy knows. Every day, crazy things happen on our farm, like beautiful things, I never have the camera. Things that I wish I could like share with you guys because they're so special. Last night, I every single night after I do chores with Sophie, I let the I let the like chickens and the turkeys and the ducks outside the front here. I open up their door and then I sit right here on this little chair, messy chair, and I feed them. I throw like all the scraps from our fridge. <laughs> Bye, Dees. <laughs> oh, no, you're sitting on here with me, man. And last night I was sitting on that chair and they were eating all our leftover food. It was watermelon. And my little girl, I call her Clarabelle now. Her name is Clara. Now I call her Clarabelle. My little turkey. Clarabelle, who I love. She She's the one that always jumps on my neck, jumps on my head, chews my hair. She's the friendliest turkey and she picked me. She loves me. Like it's only me that she comes up to. So she came up and she I could tell she wanted to jump on my shoulders. I'm sitting on that bench and she just came over, jumped on my knee and then laid down. And then I was like massaging her and petting her and she stayed there for so long. I was like nap trapped by a turkey. But it was just so glorious, like to just sit there and feel the trust and the love. Like I was doing this to her and she was closing her eyes. And she was wobbling her head. She was like, it was the most beautiful experience. Well, that's the leftover watermelon. <laughs> that's what they had last night. Come on, Ellie. Ellie hasn't had her hair done yet today. And she's gonna have a bath, that's why. It's a bath day for Ellie. <laughs> And if you don't think she needs it, trust me, she needs it. Anyway, Sam and I are gonna go for a little walk through the field, take our babies. Sam and I have our own babies now, even though you actually have Ruby. But Ruby's getting older. This is where we come out to ride. Yeah, you cut this. So Sam, you should cut it again, holy heck. So Sam cuts this grass along the edge here so we can ride. <laughs> look at my, look at our puppy, Sam, we have a, uh oh. <laughs> they heard us, <laughs> quick, run. <laughs> Sam and I actually were gonna walk this path a couple of days ago and then um, we started to walk and the chickens were all in the front. We started to walk and he said, don't bring the chickens. And I turned around and they were all following around behind me. So we decided not to go. Hi, baby. But the hay is growing so good. Wow, you know Sam's feeling better when he's ahead of me. He's never in front of me. Wait for the wind, wait for the night. She always comes back to check on, on us Stand to make sure that she's doing the right thing. Did you guys know that blue healers have uh, border collies in them? Come here, puppies! Come on! Come on, Ellie! Come on, Kirby! Come on! Come on, Ellie! Come on! My dog came back first. 
Look at this ravine. We've never really come over here and showed you guys. Come on. Come on. Don't fall me. over. I'm falling over there. But there's this ravine. It just goes down into the woods. Don't go down there, Curbs. Not you too, Ellie. Ellie. Here me. For sure, they're trying to figure out a way down there. Rocks and trees. Look, it's covered up the tree. Isn't it neat though, being up in here? It's just cool. Ellie, <laughs> don't make me nervous. Hey. Come on, puppy. Wow, so cool. There's nothing better to do on a Sunday morning when everybody else is asleep than to explore the property. I love how Kirby goes just a little bit ahead, stops and waits for us to catch up. It's adorable. Ellie does the same thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can Little see. Goats and pigs. All the goats are up here. And little piggy. <laughs> Willow. <laughs> and Willow. <laughs> One of the best things that we've done for our horses, I feel like, is give them other farm animals to hang out with. They love the goats and they like the pigs. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're like, that's so rude, you didn't let us come with you. We'll just wait here for you to come back, they say. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love this little farm. Okay, it's not so little, but this is like it's such a nice farm. I think I can handle double this. What do you think, Sam, double this? Yep, double it. Last night when I was had the turkey on my lap, all four little ducks came and sat right in front of me too. Look how Kirby, look how good Kirby is with the animals. She doesn't ever chase them yet. She's looking at them, but she'll just sit there and stare at them. She's so calm. She'll just sit there and stare at them. They'll come right up to her and put their nose right up against her nose and she'll just sit there. Alright, so Sylvie wants to give the chickens a tomato. Tomatoes aren't that good for any animal. Daisy loves tomatoes. I know, but she, no animal should have too many. Well, she likes it. I swear, if you peck my finger... Aw, that little one is really cute. Oh, biscuit. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, the door opened. <laughs> you gotta close it before we don't let the chickens well, out the front. Wow, they like it. We don't let the chickens out the front in the morning because they have all day to go out front and then they cross the road. If we only let them out at night, they know kinda to stay close to home because it's getting dark. Wow. Help me break this. <laughs> They're all standing in the hallway. Yo, why did I do that? Yeah, that was silly. Give some to my turkeys. Sophie's feeding all my tomatoes. All right, not all of them, but my two. coveted, two. beloved tomatoes that I grew. Those are my two roosters. I know, those are your two roosters. I chose them. Yeah, and they're nice roosters. Unless to Ellie. Yeah, Ellie doesn't like the black and white one anymore, so she fights him every chance she gets. <laughs> And that's the one that nobody likes. Because he attacks us every chance he gets. He attack, attacks us. Even if I have like food for them, he attacks us. Look, he's getting close to me. Which one? That one with like the dark red cone. Like, <laughs> I could just sit in here sometimes. So uh, we divide these guys up at night. We put the ducks and the geese, or we put the ducks in one section and then we put the chickens in the other section. Someone suggested that we put um, that chicken that wants to be broody up in that little brooder up there so that she could be up there and raise her babies. We actually have three chickens right now that want to be broody. Did you know that? We have a silky oh, yeah, chicken. <laughs> oh, all right, then we have four. We have a silky chicken in the back. We have a silky chicken in the back over there. We have the one that we have the one that's laying in the horse barn, and then we have little. She's still laying in there. 
I don't know. We're going to go check. But what's the one that we have down in the... Mia? Mia. She in the goat barn. She's also broody. So we actually ended up putting a few... <laughs> We lost a turkey yesterday, but we found him. Where was he? I'll show you where he goes. Everyone is still in. Oh, there are turkeys here. Is that my Clarabelle? No. Probably. This is the boy. Oh, it's the boy. Um. Did you guys spot the little black, the little nose? <laughs> I was like, wait, we're missing a turkey. Dad said, there he is. Oh. He was up there looking at Oh, him. that's so funny. He was he up there. That's a girl. That's probably my Clarabelle because that's what she likes to do. Try to jump on me. That sound that you hear is the guineas. So the turkeys, the turkeys have the nicest sound, and then the roosters have the worst sound, and the guineas have the even more worst sound. Look, here comes Clarabelle. Look, she hears me. Come here, Clarabelle. Come here, baby. I think she's the second one. Come here. Yeah. I love my rooster. I love my turkeys. I hear Posey screaming over here. Oh my God, she's stuck in the boy pen. How the, no, that's not, oh, it's him screaming. All right, so clearly something crazy is happening. Aha, uh -huh. it's you screeching. I'm like, I could hear, I thought it was Posey and I thought she was screaming and I thought the pony was chasing her. Is somebody in heat? Hey, is she in heat? Is that what you're trying to tell me? He is very flustered. <laughs> what happened? Hey, don't worry. I won't let any bad boys touch you. <laughs> I'm very particular about my piggy. I actually did notice some like goo coming out of her this morning. Uh oh, that's not a good spot. And I didn't know what that was from. Hopefully it's just that she's in heat and not that he got to her and bred her yesterday. I can't remember if I told you guys that. But yesterday, just as we were pulling in, like we just pulled in. Let's just see. It's coming out of you. Oh, it's just a bush. She definitely looks like she could be in heat. She's pretty swollen. Anyway, yesterday, ah, oh, that's what's happening. Yesterday we just pulled into the drive into the thing into the driveway with the horse after the horse show and Everybody gets excited when we come home. They all just started screaming like the horses were neighing the pigs were squealing like there was just so much noise and the goats were all freaking out See this is gonna be a problem Sam. He's pushing this door Anyways when we got out of the truck, we noticed that these guys, the boy pen was in this field over here. And it wasn't that big of a deal because, don't back up to him. That's not a good choice. <laughs> Anyways, um, when, so he was out and he just looked, they all looked like they just got out. They were literally standing right in this section here. Oh, <laughs> and, I was freaking out. I was thinking, oh my gosh, like, where's Posey? I don't want Posey to be near him just in case she's in heat, which apparently she is in heat. And I couldn't find her anywhere, so I looked on the camera, and you guys, what I saw was the cutest thing I ever saw in my life. I'm gonna show you guys the picture, but she was all tucked up. She made herself a little bed in the goat girl goat field. She covered herself with hay like a big blanket and she was laying on her side she had this big smile on her face and she was taking an afternoon nap <laughs> so i was really proud of her dude that is not okay sam sam we need to fix this fence sam we need to replace this fence this has always been the worst fence line that on this whole property watch watch what he's about to do sam has fixed this fence so many times so that nobody can get through it but he's definitely trying. Yeah, we know. We understand what's happening. Oh, look, that's the closest they've ever been. He's like, come here, I'll clear this fence line. You can come through. Oh, she's wagging her little tail. She's like, I like you too. You only like them once, Posey, and then you'll hate them. Uh, she keeps turning her butt to him. 
Ellie's like, what is wrong with him? And Posey's like, I don't really care about that. I just want love. <laughs> I love both of my pigs, though. I love him just as much. You guys, look. I got my dog at my front. I got my piggy at the back. Look, she's leaning right up against me, like pushing right into me. So happy, so happy. I love it. Well, she's in heat, but that's not why she's doing it. She's doing it to protect me. Ellie's got my front and Posey's got my back. That's how I feel on this farm. And then the little turkey that loves me, she's got my lap. And then I got this little puppy on this side. I always said I would get another Border Collie, and I swear she's just like a Border Collie. Ellie just really wants to attack that pig. She has a sense for like who's doing something they're not supposed to be doing. See all the little noses? <laughs> she's just so cute. Look at her little tail. Hi, Curb! <laughs> I mean, Posey's definitely more interested in him than she's ever been before. Oh, he's so sweet. I love him. He has a funny face, but that's all. No, Sophie, you have to learn to love what you have. Yeah, I like Posey. See the beauty in every animal. Yeah. I like Posey. I know, it's hard to like something that wants to, like, mate 24-7. <laughs> Ellie's underneath Posey's body, getting ready to attack. Ellie, don't even think about it. Just get Ellie to sit out here. And yeah, I could just leave Ellie out here. She's the guardest dog out of all of our guard dogs. All these breeds that... Ellie, get over here. All these breeds that we're supposed to have that are brave, Ellie's our only really brave dog. Actually, I would say that um, Daisy's also a guard dog. She's pretty protective. And she, like, will... Look, she's in heat, but she doesn't want the pig. She wants Ellie. <laughs> oh, I know. He's destroying the whole fence. That's why Dad's coming to fix it. Like, if we left, he'd be out. Well, he can't fix it. Oh, look at those teeth. I've never seen his teeth before. See what he's doing, Sam? Sam to the rescue. I use this door a lot. All right. In the winter, we use this one a lot. In the winter, we'll figure it out. I'll fix it by then. All right, we'll fix it by then. I'll have to build this gate. Yeah, we need a new gate. This is the gate that was here when we came, and it's awful. Sam's patched it because our old buck actually jumped this gate. He could jump this three foot gate. You know, you're sitting in horse poop. Am I? Real, hor real farm people will sit in horse poop. I'm not doing that. No, <laughs> I can't believe I am. The only time I'd ever sit in horse poop is if I fell off into it. And that's not going to happen. All that's right. Just secure it really tight. I don't want him like trying to get through it and then it yeah, topples on top of him. If that happens, you get free bacon. <laughs> free, free bacon, Sophie says. I can only go like this Posey definitely has the cuter face. She's all like, what's happening? Everybody's like, wow, you stink. You're in heat. This is just a fun Sunday on the farm. Like I'm loving this, just sitting in the field, watching all the animals. The goats over there, they couldn't care less what's going on. They have hay. They're, They're just eating all the horse hay, which is the same hay that I feed them and they don't like it. This is my life. <laughs> this is what I love about my life. Everybody's got it. Everybody that loves me has got to be touching me. Well, that definitely fixes that. He can't get through. Yeah, it's the door. I have my foot here pushing against it so he couldn't push it open, but he was trying. That's how they got through yesterday is they pushed the door. All right, who's the princess, you guys? Who's the princess? Oh, I missed it. Everybody was laying in the dirt, just relaxing. And then a little Miss Toffee was laying in the hay field. But I made, so today I was talking to a friend and I decided I'm gonna breed Lola. I think she'll be okay. She definitely grew up a lot this year. 
she's still smaller than her other goats. Yeah, it's gonna rain. Oh, <laughs> I'm sitting out there wondering where the heck are the horses? They're inside. Like, heaven forbid they ever go outside like real horses. Why are you hanging in? <laughs> How did that happen? Oh my gosh. We left the field and everybody followed us. We should maybe store all the hay in the other barn now and not leave any in here. Need it in here. Can't use it all. <laughs> we got free. It's such a good feeling having all these animals who love you and want to be with you from the chickens who follow us everywhere to the goats who follow us everywhere, to the pig who follows me everywhere, to the dogs who follow us everywhere and just want to be with us. It's the most incredible feeling. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's video because I have a lot of editing to do. But uh, before I do, say goodbye to this big bad baby, our horse trailer. All right, not really goodbye. Not goodbye forever, but just good see you later till the next time. Sam's taking it in to get it fixed today. The springs that, you know, the side door and the back door, when you open them, they have springs, so it just allows it to like lift up and lower super easily. Well, the springs in the back door are broken. So, so you have to lift it and it's really heavy. And so we're getting older, Sam's getting older. Gabby's still young, but anyway, Sam wants to get that fixed. So, and he wants to get something welded. So he's taking it in. He found somebody who can do it in our area. We used to take it to another guy far away, but now he found somebody. He had it assessed the other day. So somebody said that they would fix it. So he's taking it in. He's going to get it fixed. And even though it's an ugly trailer, uh, it's my dream trailer. Like I love this trailer. It's not my dream trailer, but I love it. I love it so much because it's small and Sam doesn't like to, to tow big trailers. He's not like confident about that kind of stuff. And then it holds three horses and that's my favorite too. And not only that, but I love this big area in the middle and I've said it ever since we got this trailer. I love it that we can put our chairs in here. Like we've been to a few rainy horse shows and it's just and cold horse shows so it's just so nice to have like a little area that we can cuddle up in and cozy up in oh my god look. Ellie come here hey babies look at how cute our, our call ducks are now Ellie stay oh I want to zoom in but Ellie Ellie stay look at how cute they are so that's the little girl I don't know what colors they are but aren't they really beautiful? So that's our little girl, and then our white boy. And then these boys, they're not grays. I thought they were grays. And maybe they are, but I don't think they are. I think they're fancy. See, look, even the ducks have started coming to me. <laughs> and they don't eat food. Like when you offer them food, they don't eat it. Aren't they so cute? Hi, Kerb. Hi, Kirby. <laughs> Kirby's like, ew, ducks. They're terrifying. Look at the colors on them. And there they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aren't they so cute though? Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hardly even brushed my hair today on Sunday. I just been lazing around the house and it's been so fun. This has been such a glorious day. Stay tuned for all Sophie's horse riding videos. She has two show videos, vlogs coming up. One will already be up when you watch this and then one will be coming up probably tonight while you're watching this the same night. Anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> They're all back. Don't you know that you're beautiful?